Hey folks, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how I do my everyday waves. I hate when the wave, the curl in your hair is, is too perfect. Like I don't want it to look like I just curled my hair. I want it to kind of look like, oh, my hair just happens to be wavy. So anyways, if you guys are interested um, in how I get my wavy curly hair, keep watching. We are going to be using a clamp. And I know that's terrifying because for me a year ago, you should say clamp, I'd be like, yeah, in your dream. The reason why I wanted to go with a clamp was because I was finding that my hair was not holding curl very well using a wand. I don't like to use hairspray, so a lot of you guys have asked me sort of how I get the silkiness to my hair, and I think like a big thing is that I don't use hairspray. So let's start with talking about this. This is by BioIonic. This retails for $185, which to me is pricey. This is at Sephora, by the way. I will link it down below. It is a one inch curling iron with a two inch long barrel. So this is a ceramic hair curler. And what it says is it has a bio ceramic five second heater. It says it has exclusive nanolonic mineral conditions and it adds shine. I don't know what all that jabber means, but I can definitely see that my hair is like silky shiny since I used started using this, so I don't know. I don't know what to tell you because I'm not a, a, a nanolonicologist, so I don't know what that means. But I'm on 390, um, I probably could do 360, but it's fine. So this is by IGK. I freaking love IGK so much. Um, this is their Thirsty Girl Coconut Milk Leave-In Conditioner. It has 24-hour frizz control. When my hair is damp right out of the shower, I just spray the ends, only my ends. Um, I find that if I spray it up higher, then my hair gets a little bit greasier quicker. And what's amazing about this, it really gives you that even distribution all over your hair. And what I was finding was with any sort of cream I would put in my hands, um, I would find that it would hit certain spots of my hair a little bit more and then it would kind of have these like greasy spots The spray is like very fine mist. I just I love this So that's all I have in my hair right now. Are you guys ready to learn how to curl? Do you have your curling iron sitting in front of you? Um, if you do please comment down below because I think that would be so cool to know how many people are actually learning to use this. So I'm starting from the back of my head and I'm taking a section. I always brush out the hair before I curl it. We want to curl all of this hair, hair away from our face and then when we get to the side we're going to flip it and we're going to go the other way away from our face. You're going to open your clamp and you're going to put the hair inside of it. You're going to want to go up not all the way to your root but you know just just as close as you can. Pretty much as you're closing that clamp once you get to about there that's when you're going to start turning it okay. So Going in, turning. See how I did that? Going in, turning. So I'm going to do one so that you can see how it works and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna go through it. So putting the clamp into the hair, as I close it, I'm turning. And that's pretty much the first step. So this is how you use a wand. This took me forever to learn, but it's not that hard. And I will teach you some of my tricks to um, help you show you how I sort of figured out how to do this. So I usually probably let it sit there for five seconds and then once I'm done, I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to pull the hair straight down. So that it falls out just like that and once my curl is done, I just throw it behind me. So you're closing the clamp, you're turning it. As you close your clamp and you start to turn it, you're going to pull, okay? gonna pull it down your hair. The two words that I always remember when I'm doing this are pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn. The first, you know, 10, 20, 30 times you do this, use that in your head. Pull, turn, pull, turn. Pull, turn. Pull, turn. Pull, turn. Pull, turn. Pull, turn turn. Last step is I just bring it all the way up my head, leave it for about five seconds, and then once that's done, we can release it. So use that. Pull, turn. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I swear, swear, swear it's going to help you so much. Every time I'm pulling it down, you'll notice that I'm pressing on this ever so slightly, just like that. That just allows the hair to move on the barrel. So every time, you know, you're going pull, Pulling means you should be pressing the barrel. Turning, you don't. So we're putting it on. As we're closing, we're turning. 
and we're pull, turn, pull, turn, watch. Pull, turn. You'll see here, I'm grabbing the hair to help move it along. Pull, turn. You can reposition your hand whenever you want. Pull, turn, pull, turn. See how I'm repositioning my hand? Pull, turn. You kind of will just get what you, what works for you. Like I can't keep holding my hand in that position. I have to reposition it. You want to help guide your hair when you can because you don't want it to get like stuck and caught up in a knot or anything like that. One more thing with this specific way that I curl my hair. You'll notice that I actually don't curl the end piece fully. So when I get to the end, I like to leave a little bit of the hair straight. Just a fan of that look. I think it looks kind of like grungy and I like that look. So about that much, I'm just gonna leave that and I'm not gonna curl it. Now, the front bang, I do essentially like the same way. I just don't like to hold it for a long period of time because the longer you hold, the tighter that curl is going to be. So I do the bang area like really fast. I also don't leave out the little section here. I, I go the whole entire piece of hair. Pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn. Pull, turn. See, I'm going pretty fast. And I did the whole piece of hair. And then I let it go. The bang is like the first area that I brush out almost instantly. And then I leave the rest to sit. Just because I don't want that to be super crazy. I just give it a quick little brush out. This is what my hair is looking like right now. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to just leave it like this. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the second side of our head. You want the curls to cool before you brush them out. These are mostly cooled. Like all of this seems to be pretty cool. But all of this in the front that we just did is going to be still a little bit warm. Let's go ahead and do this other side. I want to show you once more. I just want to put a little more emphasis on the pull. And I want you guys to just watch, just watch here as I do it, okay? Pulling it. I'm pressing that button ever so slightly. Pull, I'm pressing it ever so slightly. Turn. Pull. See, I'm just, it's, it's literally the littlest amount. Depending on what curling wand you get, it will be a little more sensitive or a little less sensitive. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, catch up, curl this side of my head, let's do it. So both sides are cool, so I'm just going to go ahead and brush through all the curls. Then I take my bangs and I just kind of place them behind my head because we're going to use um, a spray that I don't want to get on my bangs because then they'll get a little bit greasier faster. This is by Sun Bum. It is their protecting anti-frizz oil mist. So it's a lightweight dry hair oil. It says it helps protect hair against humidity and frizz and boost the hair's natural shine. And so what I do is I just shake this up and I only want to apply it, again, that's why we put my, my bangs behind my ears. I only want to apply it on the ends. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a beach vacation. Also, if you have that problem where your hair sort of smells burnt half the time, this helps. And that is how we do this. I always usually have one piece of hair tucked behind my ear, but um, this will even get like a little bit looser throughout the day and uh, will even look a little bit more lived in, they say. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. I love you guys so much. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.